What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back to watch some One Piece. This is episode 30. In the last one, Luffy defeated Don Krieg. Gein left. He still has poison in his body. Is he gonna live? Is he gonna end up dying? I'm not 100% sure. The episode ended off with Nami. We saw how she really feels. She does really like the crew and everything, but she mentioned something about being free. She wants to be free. And she mentioned a name. She said, Bellamere, I think is what she said. I'm thinking we might be getting some Nami backstory pretty soon. So I'm excited for that. Uh, but I want to get into this episode. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying these reactions, leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Feel free to follow me on the other social media. And if you're watching on YouTube, consider checking out patreon.com slash Don Diego if you want to catch these reactions ahead of time. And with that being said, let's get on to the next episode of One Piece. Let's go. So epic when he ends up breaking that armor. I got that jerk right where I want it. <laughs> the all blue. The all blue. Let's go see that all blue. I'll find the is mine! Am I right to assume there's no need to return it? It's yours. Don't ever come back here. Not for anything. Not even to return this boat. He's right. And don't you ever forget. This is the restaurant where the cooks fight. The Baratier. The Baratier. Sure mean business. Set sail. Seafaring cook sets off with Luffy. All right. We're all going to be separated. <laughs> ah, my head. Where's my head? It's right there. Yeah, Calm it's right down. freaking next to you. Good. Here it is. Have a good nap. Hey, those pirates. They're gone now. All thanks to you. Me? Yeah, and Gene asked me to tell you that he said... See you on the Grand Line. Huh. He did? Hmm. To you? No, to you! <laughs> so, I guess I don't have to do any more lame-o chores since I got those pirates off your back, That's right? right. That's the deal. Hey, I was wondering... No, I'm not gonna run away with you to become a pirate. There you are. I've got some unfinished business here. Like what? I'll stay until Zeph acknowledges my skill. Okay then. Well, maybe he'll acknowledge your skill right now. That means you let go. I can't just leave. These bozos don't know the first thing about how to run a restaurant. But still, I promised myself that one of these days, I'll go to the Grand Line. <laughs> well, let's go right now. Yeah. This isn't the right time. Not yet. There is one place. There ain't no tomorrow, man. Say, have you ever heard of the all blue? Nah. -uh. You've got to be kidding me. That sea is a miracle. In the all blue, there are fish from the east blue, the west blue, the north blue, and the south blue. <laughs> one stretch of ocean has it all. Nice. Was cooks, it's a culinary dream come true. A place that fantastic has got to be on the Grand Line somewhere, right? Look how excited he gets talking about it. The little brat looks truly happy. <laughs> what an idiot. He looks how he looked when he was a kid when he was talking about it. All right, guys. Soup's on. Let's have a meal. Oh, good. They saved us some seats. They did? No chairs left for you. <laughs> Just sit on the floor and eat. There are no chairs? That doesn't seem right. This is a restaurant. All right, fine. They sure are acting strange. <laughs> well, that's nothing new. Bunch of jerks. Hey, what is this? Who prepared the soup this morning? Oh, I did. Oh, the stuff did? is pretty good, huh? I think well, I really outdid it doesn't myself. Doesn't sound like is he that likes a it. Joke? I can barely hold this slop down. <laughs> he doesn't like well, wasted I food. Someone like you would like slop. Makes sense to me, seeing as that's what pigs like. Ha! Still Just fighting. Face it, Sanji. Your soup sucks. It's disgusting. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> There's something wrong with your taste buds. Ah, that's gross. Well, he doesn't like it either. I can't eat this. Oh wait. <laughs> no, I. Th I think they're doing it on purpose. They're doing it to fire him. 
What the hell's going on, you bastards? We're sick of the way you run things. You're a sham of a sous chef, and everybody knows it. So you can, so he could leave and. Little disagreement with violence. If the food's bad, then we're gonna say so. Don't forget that we're seafaring cooks, so you better not waste one single drop of that soup. Oh, he had the whole thing. Whoa. Boss! <laughs> that wretched little dish tasted like stewed garbage. <laughs> if we ever served that kind of trash here, we'd go out of business. Are you really this stupid? Just how is my soup any different from the stuff you make? How? Do you think they're the same? <sighs> Don't flatter yourself. Jeez. <gasps> the boss punched him. He didn't kick him. Hmm. Do you think you can lecture me on the art of cooking? Do you? Fat chance. I'm a man who has cooked on more seas than days that you've been alive. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, I think it's what I said. I think. That worthless old man. I'm not a little brat anymore. What's he doing, though? Luffy's gonna like it. What's all the fuss about? This soup's totally awesome! <laughs> all of us know the soup is good. I know he's an outstanding chef. Everyone here on the Baratier does. Yeah, he's great. Aside from Chef Seth, he's the best we got. That was scary, wasn't it? He seriously snapped. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're supposed to eat from that spoon, though. But that thick-skulled idiot wouldn't listen to us if we tried to reason with him. Hmm. <laughs> hey, listen. You were saying that you needed a cook for your ship, right? Well, this you is got one. I want to be asking anyone, but uh, would you mind taking that little brat along with you? Take him to the Grand Line. That would be best for him. The Grand Line is his dream. Yeah. Jeez, boss, you sure made us put on a hell of a show. <laughs> oh, man, I was worried he was going to figure it out because of your bad acting. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, your acting was way worse than mine. I'm going to get some more of that seat, too. Yeah, that stuff is good. Honestly, it was when the third guy started going, bleh, bleh. that's when I realized. I was like, I think they're acting. I can hear everything. Hmm. No way. You mentioned you needed a cook for your ship. Just what are you trying to say? That he's suddenly not good enough for you? Oh, he's good. And I'd love it if he joined my crew and came with us. But it seems like he really wants to stay here and cook with all of you guys. You can ask me all you want. I think it's just, just that he feels to. obligated to. So you're saying you can't agree to it until he tells you himself. Is that right? That's right. More food, please. Well, I suppose that's fair enough. Wow. But who knows if that hard-headed little brat will ever agree to join up with you. Yeah. Usually well, Luffy just doesn't take no for an answer. Anybody can do to change it. it. Doesn't even matter what the other person thinks. What's this? A really fast shark? What the heck? Okay, what is going on now? Sanji, what is, is that? Is that a fishman? Did he come all the way from Fishman Islands to eat here? You don't! It's a human and a pan shark! Is that Yosuku? Whoa, it's Yosuku! <laughs> what is it? Oh, hey, big bro Luffy. What happened? When you're alone, where are the others? Did you find Nami? <laughs> We never actually caught up to her, but from the direction Big Sis is headed, we think we figured out where she's going and what she plans to do. I see. Then we can bring her back. Maybe. It's just... If our suspicions turn out to be true, then the place she intends to go could mean certain death for all of us if we follow her. The point is, we really need your help, Big Bro Luffy. Please, come with me. Okay, I don't really get it, but I got it. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, obviously she's trying to find that guy, Arlong. Wait. Your dream is foolish. Then again, so's mine. Now is as good a time as any. Why not start my quest right now? Sanji. 
I'll be joining your little yeah. journey to be king of the pirates. <laughs> That's right. You hear me? Come along. Be the cook on your ship. It's gonna be fun. All right. What do you say? Yeah! <laughs> this is great, Big Bro Luffy. We got a cook. Now we'll get the tasty food. What is is Yosaku part of the crew? I mean, what? Isn't he a Sorry. bounty hunter? Really? I'll leave now. <laughs> I don't like it. To tell you the truth, I was hoping to give you the boot from this restaurant personally. But it seems that you don't have a problem with straight up abandoning us. I'm especially sorry for making a lot of you resort to bad acting. Hey, wait! How'd you know? I heard everything, huh. a bunch of jerks. I have never liked children. As a matter of fact, I hate children. There wasn't a day passed when I didn't regret letting a useless little brat like you live, Sanjay. All right, you don't no, need to keep up with the me, act. You rotten old man. Enjoy the rest of your miserable life. Whoa, this is a nice ship. You sure it's okay to use her? Of course. It's Sanji's ship. Well, oh. Still need more? Yep. Gonna need more meat. <laughs> All right. Well, how many days are you gonna be out at sea? I don't know. Kid? Hey, Pops. Would you like this? It's my logbook, a detailed record of my yes! one-year journey to I knew the it. line. Yes. Ah, thanks. No, no, no. Take it, Luffy. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Why? Ooh, ooh, I want some more of that what? That's enough meat for you. What is he wanted? The nicest sea restaurant I've ever seen. That's for sure. He was there since the beginning. Why didn't Luffy want the logbook? He wants it all to be just. He doesn't want to be spoiled about anything. Hey, Sanji, listen. Huh? He's afraid of what spoilers. It? it doesn't matter what sort of person walks through our doors. If they're hungry, then they will be fed. Every starving wretch who comes to us will get a fine meal. We can make that happen. It doesn't matter how much we fight, because we share the same dream. <laughs> yeah. What's that from? Ah. Hmm. Awful. Uh, oh, dang. Is that what you call peeling? <laughs> You better watch your mouth, you little brat. I'm not a little brat, you crusty old geezer. A lot of memories, the Try two of this. them together. Did you make it all by yourself? Uh-huh. They have a special bond. How is it? This is the worst soup I've ever had, you little brat. <laughs> you mean old geezer? And they've been together ever since that crazy... I think it was like 47 days or something. It's crazy. Now it's payback time! Here it comes, Sanji! One last kick. Yep. Really, guys, that was just dumb. It's kind of like how, like, uh, when Usopp left his village, you know, all those people there seemingly you didn't like him in the beginning. No, it's fine. But Sanji, turned out that they actually did like him. Yourself, okay? <laughs> wow. You guys will see each other again someday. <laughs> Saved your life. They let you have all the food. Chef Sam! Thanks, you geezer. I'll never forget your kindness. I owe my life to you, old man. So thank you. Ah! <laughs> You look at that. It's gonna be so different without it. The damn wishes. 
real men should part without a word, let alone tears. Wow. Let's go! Set sail! I will see you again! Yeah. I'll come back someday! You could tell them all about the all blue. Sail with enough faith in yourself that you have no fear, not even of death. You will find the all blue. Yeah. I'm sure of it. All right, men. Customers will be here soon. Get to work already. Ooh, is this where Arlong is? Where's Nami? There's Nami. Looking. She's got different clothes on. Wow. Just another fantastic arc. I mean, what can I say? Like, you know, it's a crazy story, man. But I, I absolutely love the writing with it. Like, because <laughs> just like the Usopp one, like I said, like, it seemed like. It seemed like a lot of those people were sick of him. Like, from the things that they literally would say to him. They would say that they didn't even want him around and stuff. But it turned out that they actually did like him. It's just like they were... They were always kind of acting. They were always not really saying how they truly felt. So it was just interesting to, like, see that. <laughs> but yeah, just to see, like, at the end. Like, they're all crying about it. Just touching stuff. Obviously with uh, Sanji and Zeph, like what they went through together you know that's a bond that you know just will last forever i mean you go through something like that with someone i mean that's just crazy but yeah i can't wait i can't wait to see zeph again that'd be really interesting to see man i just love this show i love how they set up for stuff like that because we got to be seeing these people again at some point like like kobe like the kids, uh, you know, that from Usopp's village, like Zeph, like, like I just love how there's just gonna be somewhere out there in the world. This is gonna be like a whole big world with all these characters that are in different spots. We might not see some real life. It's like real life. I love when it's like that, man. But uh, this, like this whole arc, the secondary thing was kind of setting up for the next arc which I think is going to be a Nami arc. Like we're probably going to get backstory for her. She's trying to find Arlong. You know, he's supposed to be really, really dangerous. I can't wait to see that because like, honestly, the villains that we've seen so far, they haven't been that, that scary. You know, like we haven't had to face like adversity. We haven't had to, well, except for, except for Zoro. But Zoro has this goal in mind. It isn't, it wasn't really like a villain that, you know, like, I don't really know what to classify Hawkeye as like, but he, he wasn't really a villain, but Zoro is really the only one who has faced some real adversity. There is someone who knows that he needs to get stronger, you know, but in terms of like the villains that we've seen so far, like, you know, that first captain from the first episode, freaking Captain Morgan, Captain Kudo, uh, Captain Buggy before that, and then Don Krieg. Like, there's been challenges, you know, it wasn't, this hasn't always been, you know, the easiest thing in the world, but still, like, they end up underestimating Luffy, and then Luffy will just, like, end up willing his way and, and defeating them. So, I feel like this might be it, though. I feel like someone like Arlong, even though I haven't seen him yet, they say he's like really terrifying. So I think that maybe he'll be the first one where it's like, where Luffy might actually have a challenge with it. And Luffy will need to get stronger. I mean, Luffy's our main character and he's, he started off the show super strong. Everything's been easy. I just feel like it's coming. Something's going to be coming where Luffy is going to really struggle and he's going to get out of the situation being like, holy crap, I need to get stronger, you know? 
So, so we'll see. But uh, I'm very excited for this next arc. We got five members of the crew, but we're all friggin' separated <laughs> right now. So it's Luffy and Sanji are together. Uh, Usopp and Zoro. I mean, Zoro was uh, passed out, but he's got Zoro with him. And uh, he has Johnny. Is Johnny and uh, Yosuku going to be part of the crew? I feel like eventually they're going to leave or die or something. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, but yeah, I'm super excited for this. I loved that arc. But what did you think about the episode and what did you think about the arc? Let me know down in the comments section. And if you did enjoy the reaction, leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Feel free to follow me on the other social media. And if you're watching on YouTube, consider checking out patreon.com slash Don Diego if you want to catch these reactions ahead of time. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.